All right, before we move ahead, let's just go over the Midjourney website. Okay. Using Midjourney on the web is extremely easy if you know what you're looking for. Let's get started. So first up, what you're going to see here is that I am currently on the latest version of the Midjourney website, which is version 7. And you will see a couple of things which are extremely, extremely exciting. First up, we've already discussed what the Explore page is and how to use it. Now let's look at the Imagine Bar. This is the Imagine Bar and you can type in your prompt here. Let's say a woman in a red sari. Okay, and, and this is just an example prompt. So this is where you would write the prompt. And you could go much, much more into detail. In fact, let's, let's actually use a photo of a person with motion blur. Okay. Wearing a red sari in Mumbai. All right. And we'll make it a little more obvious for my journey that it's a woman, a photo of a woman wearing a red sari in Mumbai, moving with motion blur, shot with a Leica M6 and Vision 3500T. This is the name of the film stock. Um, 500 is the ISO and T stands for tungsten. And it is a color negative film reminiscent of a Wong Kar Wai. Wong Kar Thai? Okay, Wong Kar Thai. I think it's supposed to be Wong Kar Wai. Film set today. Okay. And this is where you would write the, the prompt. And before we actually go in, let's take a look at the settings. So let's look at it one by one. This is where you set the aspect ratio of the image. You can go all the way from two is to one, which is an anamorphic aspect ratio, all the way to one is to two, which is a vertical, anamor uh, vertical aspect ratio. This is your nine is to 16, which is standard for your phones. And this is 16 is to nine, which is standard for YouTube. And a one is to one would be an image on Instagram. Okay, we're going to keep it to 16 is to nine. And by default, you have this stylization parameter. We will look into all of this into depth in a later video. But for now, you just need to understand that stylization, it exists, weirdness exists. And it's set to 1600 right now, I'm gonna reduce it all the way to zero. Variety exists and it's going to be at zero. And over here you get to the mode or the model, the model under which mid journey is being run. This is the mid journey model version. So currently there is a, a standard version and a raw version. Raw, you can say tones down the aesthetic and styling and beautification that mid journey automatically applies to your images. Um, when you use standard mode. A raw, you can say that it gives you a little more control over the final images, allowing you for more specific styles or for realism. Uh, however, one thing to note is that when using raw, your prompts need to be as detailed as possible. If your prompts don't have a clear instruction, the image might not turn out to be as visually appealing. By default, I would say just work with raw, especially because we are all filmmakers here. And then comes the version. So as of today, 
Mid Journey has the newest version available, which is version seven. Now version seven again has two modes, which is draft and standard, and we'll get into that in a later video. And then you have speed. Relax makes your images. You know, it takes its own time to give you the image. Fast is what I usually use because that's the most economical. And turbo is when you want extremely fast images. And just for your understanding as of now, standard and draft. Draft gives you like crazy fast images, but at the sacrifice of quality. Okay. All right. So... Yeah, that's how you go about it. And over here, you can either turn personalization off or on. And you can turn draft mode on or off. But for draft mode, you need to unlock personalization like the screen says. And we are going to keep it to no. And because my personalization is off, we're going to stick to version 6.1. And let's take a look at the images that are going to come up. But as we wait for the images to generate, over here you can add images. And we'll get to that in a later video. But you can have image prompts, style references, and character references. But we'll get to that in a later video. Oh, by the way, you can search. This is a search tab, so you could like you could search for any term here and the images on your explore page will change. Let's say it's, I'm typing Mumbai and you'll see all the images that had Mumbai in it. Okay, um, you could type in Blade Runner and you will see all the images that have been generated in the Blade Runner aesthetic. You could also type in something like cinematic And you will get a bunch of images which are deemed cinematic. And usually when you type in cinematic, you get 16 is to 9 images. This is also extremely powerful to just search for something and uh, get some images that might, you know, inspire you. On the left are some more options. So we looked at this. Now we are going to look at this. All right, on the left, you have the explore page. As we've already talked about, this is the create page. This is where you're going to see your images. You have the edit page where, again, we'll talk about it in a later video. Uh, but just for your understanding, this is where you can edit the images generated by Midjourney or you can upload your own images. And this is a very powerful editing option. But we'll get to that. This is where you personalize your mid journey and we'll talk about it in a upcoming video. I'm sorry. I'm just saying that it's all coming up in a next video, but just, just stay with me. Okay. And organizing, which we will again talk about in another video. Uh, but we can look at the chat. This is actually something that mid journey has integrated or taken directly from uh, their earlier Discord days. And you can see what other people are up to. Uh, this is a channel for newbies. What are people generating? And as you can see, somebody is generating this, a stylish bank card design. Okay. And then there's a daily theme option. You have prompt craft where people kind of guide you through the prompts that they're using to generate the images. And you have this chat called general chaos. It's just generally whatever people are thinking about. And you have a bunch of tasks. So tasks are a great way to earn some fast hours. And so you can rank images, curate the community front page and rank image aesthetics in Niji. Then you have some surveys and you have the community task, which is to rate ideas. So all of this will just give you like a few fast hours uh, based on your subscription. And then you have the help page. 
anything you need you can have look at video tutorials prompt crafting chat room billing support all of that and then you have updates and as you can see on april 4th we have version 7 and then you can select the theme i prefer using my system theme which is the dark mode and this comes to your account settings and yeah quite straightforward but yeah that's mid journey that's the website um please feel free to explore a lot more and we also have the class chat window where you can go in type your questions talk about mid journey anything we'll be more than happy to help you out with that okay all right see you in the next chapter thank you